like to open it up with a statement? Well, you know, there's a, there's a lot of reasons we wanted to play this game. Um, one, very personally, was for Adrian. Um, you know, I, I, her family is, is wonderful. She's got great support here. And um, we wanted to bring her back home. And um, I think that uh, it was a really nice homecoming for her. And, you know, but we felt this wasn't some game that we just did it just for Adrian. It's also what we consider a top 50 possible RPI road win for us. So tons of respect for the Old Dominion program, tons of respect for their coaching staff um, and how hard they play. You know, on film, uh, the Old Dominion looks like the hungriest team on the planet. They, they just attack the ball. I just, the whole game, the last thing, message I had for the team before the game was um, whoever, I'm going to play whoever's getting the ball for us, whether it's on a rebound, whether it's on a steal, whether it's a loose ball, whether um, they're trying to shoot the gaps and get a steal and we meet the pass. Whoever's just going and getting the ball is who was going to play the majority of our minutes. And I think our team took that very, very seriously because they steal the ball extremely well. Um, they had twice as many steals as we had on the year coming in, and they only had three because we, I thought we were a little bit more disciplined than we'd been playing and a lot more sophisticated than we've been playing. And um, so we go on the road to find out things about a team, a relatively young team with only one senior, but I love this team, and uh, I really love Adrian. And uh, so this is a win-win for us. Adrian, um, could you sort of talk about what it was like for you, what it was like for you coming out here with your family, a lot of Woodside people, Coach Callum and the gang were here? Um, it was exciting um, just to see everybody. You know, Boo was out there. I didn't know Boo Williams was coming. Um, my family, my friends, people I hadn't seen in a long time, just to see me play in uh, the 7 by 7 again. It was just exciting. Um, I didn't try to get, you know, too jittery in the beginning. I know my first shot was the air ball. But <laughs> I was a little jittery on that one. <laughs> but it was just exciting um, just to see, you know, everybody um, at the game, seeing, you know, my team from Miami. Like, I don't think anybody has seen us play, like, as a whole in person. So it was just exciting. Um, I think we, we really – we outnumbered them a lot, um, and just totally in the game um, by fans-wise. But it was just a fun experience. You, you mentioned the, uh, the air ball. Uh, were you a little <laughs> – Anxious there. I was more calm than I thought. I thought the, actually the first shot I thought was good, but then the air ball and I was just like, all right, settle down. But after that, things kind of um, were flowing for me, so I was excited. Coach, do you normally uh, with your players? Do you try to get these kind of games for them to get them? Yeah, I guess the best story was we had a girl from Alaska. Yeah, she went to the for Sylvia Bullock, right? So I went to Alaska recruiter and I said, yeah, we'll go back. And so we went to the Anchorage tournament and. Uh, I don't know. That was quite the trip. That was really difficult and probably set us back a couple of weeks in that season. But yeah, we do that. You know, we're we're. I love uh, where we work. We we just we're pretty remote. I mean, an hour south is water, an hour east is water, an hour west is water. So we have to go north to get our players. And so part of the deal is we try to build a family situation. You saw a lot of our parents were there. They come down. They spend a lot of them are coming in for Thanksgiving. We try to keep the connections with the families. And one way to do it is to, to reward games like this. But I probably could have played someone a little easier than Old Dominion for her. That would have been nice. Coach, um, obviously Jenny Killings is a big part of what they want to do. What was she thinking in trying to defend her? And how do you feel well, you know what? We, that was a, a team defensive effort. I believe everybody on the team had her and guarded her at one point. You know, both teams were coming off a real tough opening stretch. So um, it was kind of, uh, you know, fatigue, you know, makes a coward of us all. And, and we were trying to fatigue her. And we felt like our depth and that we could rotate and we could put length on her, then we could put speed on her. And then we put some immaturity on her, actually, and just kind of had a kid running around just and Sims was looking at her like, what are you doing? It was just like, we tried everything we could and then it never tried to give her the rim. Um, she's so quick, so fast. She drew, you know, I think she drew more fouls than anybody has drawn on us individually in a long time. She really did. Um, so we had, to, we had to play his own defense that I, I, I didn't want to play against them, but, you know, we, with the new rules and kind of the hands-off stuff, we were in a lot of foul trouble. Coach, well, actually, both of you, um, they get that 8-0 run to start the third quarter. Um, you call a timeout. It must have been mm -hmm. a great speech at that point because you go with a 20 nothing run right after that. Well, you know, I don't, I don't think it was a great speech. I think we were buying time to start the second half having to play a zone because of our foul trouble. I mean, I looked up and down my roster, and everybody had two or three fouls. And we could not afford the Old Dominion's too opportunistic, and they would capitalize on anything. So we couldn't afford to play our man-to-man. -man. So we bought time, and then we could switch our defense. I was, I was fine. I figured that we'd have a little bit of – we lost our identity a little bit. 
through our adversity, and then we just, when we changed it, we got ourselves back. I thought Laura Cornelius and Amesa Hoff, I mean, those two, those are some special freshmen now. I mean, they were all world. They were just, they play so composed, and they make such great decisions, and never make the wrong basketball play, and then when it comes time to hit a shot, they just hit it like it's no big deal. So um, we really love them, and uh, our bench, I, I think that's the story of the game, right? Our bench was 20 to, outscored their bench, I think 20 to 2, if I'm right, and that's a big story. It's a big story. Obviously, their defense, you know, is very disruptive against most teams. Mm -hmm. uh, just the value of having veterans in the backcourt like you have. Well, I think veterans that play with a quick pace. You know, we're not a team that uh, you, you never saw the guards look back at me for a call. I mean, I don't. That's not disrespectful. <laughs> that's just our system. They're told not to. They don't stop and look at me, and then a point guard's at the center of the office. You never saw that one time tonight. We don't do that. And so when Old Dominion can kind of heat you up on the three, we call the three-point line the umbrella. They can really heat up the umbrella, and they can really take you out of your sets. We used to, we didn't run sets. I got my offensive efficiency stats at halftime. I said we hadn't run anything. No, I mean we had uh, whatever 32 at halftime. 26 of them were off of our transition, uh, just our what we call play to the X's, our flow stuff, and we didn't reset and call anything. And I think that really is, that's what we try to do. I, I wouldn't compliment us to say enough of the Golden State Warriors, but that is actually a s philosophy that we, we like. Because um, when you play in the ACC, you, you, you have a great play, and you're going to reverse the ball three times, and they're not going to let you reverse it once. So you kind of have to get out of that stuff. And you got to play a little bit wider with spacing and pace. Coach, when, when, when Adrian came to you, she was not as strong as she is now, obviously. Is, or can we sort of talk about what the... <laughs> you what set the, him up. You paid him to ask this question. Well, <laughs> nope. you did. Where's the... No. Um, <laughs> Should we tell him about the airbrush photo that we did on you? Oh, my goodness, yeah. But just talk about her as you Oh, I, I think her, she has transformed her body, absolutely, 100%. Um, and she's always had that really great mid-range and that really quickness to her pull-up, but her lower body reshaped a lot. Is that a, is that a nice yeah, way of that's, saying that's it? Nice. Okay. <laughs> we reshaped her lower body quite a bit, and so she's lighter on her feet, but still, you know, that quick release. So um, you know, she's a high-level basketball player. When she gets downhill, when she's able to get downhill, um, you, have to, you have to respect her speed, and then it's a quick pull-up. So she's, she's, she's really fun to coach and very easy to get a shot for. Paul Williams, a big icon in this area, mm -hmm. he said you spoke to him. Anything that he said after the game about the game or just anything in general? Oh, no, I haven't spoken to him, but I saw him and his um, mother. Like, they're big fans of me. Like, he called me on my birthday. And um, I think he wasn't just here for me. I know Jenny Sims is my best friend. I don't mm -hmm. think a lot of people know that. But And Q Younger, we played together for Boo. So I think just coming to see all of us play, and it was just good to see him. But I, I haven't seen him after. I'll probably see him after I get dressed and everything. But as far as saying anything, he hasn't said anything to me. What does that mean to have someone like that to come see the three of y'all play? What does that mean? What kind of motivation does that give you coming into a game? I was really excited. Um, you know, everybody knows Boo, so just, you know, taking his time out of his busy schedule to come, you know, watch your game is very exciting. Like I said, Boo is really close to myself and my dad. So um, it, it, was, it was exciting just to see everybody, but especially Boo. Hey, Jenny, with your best yeah, we've been playing. People don't really know that. I don't think, think Coach really knew that. First I heard of him. Yeah, but uh, we're best friends. We, we play together with Boo. Um, her mom, um, is, I call her mom, her dad, call him dad. Um, our parents are close, so. Um, just seeing her again, uh, we hugged like probably five times. I know we hugged at least three after the game and before the game at the captain's huddle. But um, just seeing her again, you know, she's been playing really well. I brag about her all the time. Um, when she comes to FIU, I'm going to go watch her play. But it was just exciting to see her. Um, just happy to see her. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Yep.